Hey church, welcome to this week's devotions. My name's Darren, uh, one of the pastors at Audacious Church, and it's great to be with you today as we continue our look into the book of Jude. Um, it's a devotional journey that we're doing, and let us remind ourselves of a few things. So this week we're going to remind ourselves of a few things that we've learned. Firstly, the urgency to contend for the faith. Jude passionately encourages believers to defend the truth entrusted to them in a world filled with various ideologies. Let us stand firm, you and I standing firm, holding on to the unchanging and eternal word of God. May our lives reflect the steadfast commitment to faith, contending earnestly for the gospel in both our words and our actions. Secondly, Jude warns us about the infiltration of false teaching and deceptive influences within the church as we navigate through a world that con constantly bombards us with conflicting messages. Let us earnestly seek discernment, the power and the gift of the, from the Holy Spirit of discernment. Let's be people that allow the Holy Spirit to guide us and to encourage us to reject falsehood, anchoring our hearts in the truth of God's word. In guarding against deception, we protect the purity of our faith and uphold the integrity of the gospel. Thirdly, in Jude 20 to 21, he encourages believers to build themselves up in the most holy faith through prayer and being led by the Holy Spirit. Prayer is not mere, merely a religious duty, but a powerful means of communion with God. As we engage in earnest prayer, we open our hearts to the transformative work of the Holy Spirit, allowing him to strengthen us, increase our faith, and keep us in the love of God. Let us establish a foundation of prayer, nurturing spiritual growth and deepening our intimacy with Jesus. So we're contending for our faith. We're, we're, we're being watchful of deceptive infiltration and we are building ourselves up. Remember church, keep reading through Jude. Read it over and over and over again. Get it in your spirit. Get it in your head and your heart because it is a helpful, incredibly helpful letter from Jude to us, the church. Love you, church. Have a great rest of your day and see you tomorrow for more of a delve into the book of Jude.